What's up my ponios, Andy with Andy Vlogs. This is the coax to ethernet power adapter kit here to push out up to 8K for gaming, for streaming, all that good stuff. What's exciting here is it's pretty much plug and play. You just need to make sure that you follow the instructions. We're gonna show you that demonstration here in this video. With that said, this is a sponsored video from the folks at Nexus Link. They did reach out to me, provide this to me complimentary and sponsor the video. Down below in the links in the description will be the product pricing and availability. You can check that out here. It'll help about the channel. With that said, let's go over the installation, demonstration, unboxing, all that good stuff. To show you here what comes in the box, as you can see here, this is the output and input of the ethernet. So in other words, this is gonna be near your modem. This is gonna show you all of the different indicators here, whether it's connected or not. And on the other side here, if you wanna have this as the receiver, receiving end, this is where you connect to the coax, and then this will output obviously to your device uh, of choice. You've got the power AC, and then it's got lights to be able to indicate how to operate it. In the box, it comes with the ethernet cords and not the coax cable, so you're gonna have to provide that yourself. Okay, we're on location. I've got my coax cable here, as well as I've got my ethernet cord that's gonna be sending through the coax cable, which is great. I've got a mesh Wi-Fi, so I've got this connected. First thing that I'm gonna be doing is placing the, uh, the ethernet into the port. Next step is to tie in the coax and then connect it here to the TV out. Coax cable is connected now to the wall. Now we're gonna go ahead and connect the coax here to the TV out. Next step, plug it in. Now the lights are going to go off. I've got power. It's now going to show the symbol here where the internet is driving through. Now we've got it flashing here, showing you that there's internet now going through this. Now we need to go to my other area where we're going to be sending the internet. It's recommended here that instead of connecting to the TV, you wanna to connect to the G.HN port. So we're gonna go ahead and switch it over on both units. I've still clicked the pairing button here. It should pair, oh, it stopped. That might mean that we've got a connection. Okay, I'm running my coax cable now from my main bedroom here. Uh, obviously we wanna connect it into the TV, so you can see coax cable is connected to the other unit. We're gonna run the ethernet here. That's gonna be giving it wired internet. We're gonna go ahead and plug that in, and then now I'm ready here to go ahead and plug the whole unit in and show you that it's gonna link up. It's showing that the link is solid and locked. Okay, we're here at the TV. We're gonna go into the settings. Okay, as you can see, I'm setting up my TV now. It's connected. Okay, now I'm casting to one of my streaming services. You can see here that it's connected to the internet. With that said, I think this is an awesome opportunity here, especially for those folks who have older homes that don't necessarily have an ethernet jack here plugged in like I do. This is a great way to be able to, over your coax cable, use the adapter kit to be able to get internet. Nonetheless, I think it's great to still be able to get the internet, download, stream, all that good stuff. With that said here, the folks at Nexus Link did sponsor this video down below in the links in the description will be the product pricing and availability. Check that out guys, it does help out the channel. Thanks so much for watching, we'll catch you on the next one.